So where's Basim? Ah, oh, these Arabs are we late. Hey, so come, come on, on, they are good people. Uh, hey. the terrorists. Hey. Hola. <laughs> Como esta? So uh, in this previous year, we were covering uh, conflicts, and we were trying to solve conflicts all around the okay, world. Okay, Basim, 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 I'm sorry. We're not talking about conflict resolution yet. We're talking about conflict management. No, 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 no. We're not talking about solving conflicts. We're not talking about managing conflicts. We're talking about transforming conflicts. No, 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 not at all. The DDR, the, the essential and the important <laughs> But do you, do you notice anything? These guys, and I know many of you too, are always focusing on what is not working. You know, within you, peace in the world, and maybe we're just asking the wrong questions. We never ask, how does love come about? Or, for instance, how has, how has you peace become this um, amazing germ cell of creative and peaceful creatures? Uh, I know we have all these people back at home, and they tell us, oh, yeah, just wait, once you get back, home, back to the real world, you will be in shock and you will wake up. As if UPs was not part of the real world. I don't know, maybe we should rename UPs into Salvador Dali University because we are so surreal and simply not part of the real world. Uh, but I'm sure that Tricia, our... I'm too tall for this microphone, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure that Tricia, our Miss Deconstruction of IPS, has something to say on the real world. Um, well, of course, Katerina, how can you use a term like real world and expect me not to deconstruct it? After all, when we say real world, what do we really mean? The real world isn't just what we can touch and it's not just what we can see. It doesn't exist out there beyond this so-called you peace bubble. It exists in everything that we have lived and everything that we have learned. And it is here and it is now. If I've learned one thing this year, it's that we must internalize and live in accordance with everything that we believe. We must live peace in every single one of our relations. After all, peace starts with us. And we must continue to strive, and we must continue to learn, never seeing our journey as complete. And Athena, she has the task of taking this back to Idaho. Woo! Good luck. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about that, Trish, but I can try. Taking what we have learned here and applying it will be a constant challenge, although a good one, for it requires us always to be present in ourselves and aware of those around us. However, I feel that if we truly listen to, each, to others and keep ourselves open for deeper understanding and continual learning, then we will always be working for peace. And besides, if at some point I forget, I'm sure one of your voices is going to come to my head to remind me because you're all so distinct, I can literally hear your voices. And Bassem, I'm not sure any of us are going to forget. Well, I hope. I managed to. Okay. So I was asked to talk about my experience with the IPS in this previous year. How to talk about IPS in 30 seconds. So are you familiar with the UPS spectrum? where the peace education is on one end, <laughs> and the international law and settlement of disputes is on the other. No offense, anyone? <laughs> well, IPS is all along the spectrum. IPS is people from every imaginable place, culture, and background. IPS are students fighting in lethal debates, yet very good friends. I'm just proud to be an IPS. Well, I'm just Uh, I just want to say that uh, this year was a special year for us. We learned a lot from each other. We learned a lot from uh, our friendship. We learned how to use, this is the amazing thing, how to use our culture to connect us instead of dividing us. We learned that there is a lot of uh, problems facing us, facing the humanity, like um, poverty in Africa, depleted uranium because of the war in Iraq, gender issue, violation of human rights, everything. So let's put uh, our hand together and um, solve this problem as possible as we can. Thank you. Um, but, but as you know, with IPS, there is a catch to this. Now, I'm sure many of you have, uh, have heard this joke before, why IPS students don't make it to heaven. 
So, because on the way to heaven, there's a crossroads with two signs. One sign says, workshop about the way to heaven, and the other sign says, way to heaven. And of course, IPSs with their fondness of workshops and deconstructing, they always opt for the workshop, so they never make it to heaven. So, okay, this way, workshop, this way, the real thing. Workshop, guys. No, come on, we've got to decide what heaven is. And always fighting. Again and again. <laughs>